what it is, what's happening. So I got a package today. Uh, was was not expected today, but I knew it was coming from a friend over at uh, Master Coat. They got a new product out now. If you follow my channel, you follow my Instagram, you know that I'm a very strong user of this product. This product is for rusty metal. Uh, after you've done a repair, uh, this is a great product to stop rust. A lot of guys are pour 15, pour 15. This stuff blows that crap out of the water. Pour 15 does not have any UV protection. So if you put pour 15 on and leave it outside, it'll get chalky in six months and it's no good. It does nothing. This has UV in it. Their silver is, they do make a black and uh, I think two other colors. The silver is where it's at. Whatever is in the pigment of the silver, it will lock rust down. They actually make three levels of this. They make a slurry, which is really thick. And they recommend using that on like um, you got something that's really pitted or you take the vinyl top off of a car and the roof is really pitted, but you don't want to put a roof skin on the car because it's not that terrible. It's just pitted. Clean the, the rusty metal as clean as you can get it. Two coats of this, and she's good. This stuff has a real long lifespan. I think it's over 25 year lifespan is what they uh, project it to live, which is more than what most paints do. Uh, I've been using this stuff for 20 years, and, I, and I'm not joking when I say that. I use it on floor pans and trucks um, where I've done cab mount repairs or cab corner repairs. I'll use this on the inside, a couple coats of this. I put it on with a brush. You can put it on with a roller. They say you can spray it. Most of the time when I'm using this product and where I'm using it, a brush is fine because it's not usually an area that you're going to see or it's an area that's going to get sanded and top coated. Uh, I got a very good friend of mine owns that has a body shop. He'll use this product and then he'll do his body work on top of this product. This is a moisture curing paint, which means the moisture in the air cures it, makes it hard. This stuff will get rock hard. But what he sent me today was, this is a new product. You mix these two together, and it's a sound deadening and the silver paint. I'm going to be using this on a tow truck that I've been working on for quite some time. i got a little 76 F350 tow truck that I've been building. If you follow the channel, you know that it's a wrecker that I've been building. I'm going to do a Crown Vic subframe in. I'm going to lower the truck. Well, I'm going to do the floors in this sound deadening product. Um, I'm not quite sure what's in here because you can feel that it's pretty thick what's in this bag He said this gets mixed With this can of silver and he says he recommends just using a little nappy roller and roll it on again Some guys make oh you're brushing on you're rolling it on doesn't matter. It's on the top of the floor pan You're gonna put carpet on top of it. You'll never see it This stuff will lock whatever's down. I had a Chevy wrecker a little rollback Back when I was in business. It's a nice, clean, little 85 Chevy Wrecker. Rollback, I'm sorry. Low mileage truck, I'd bought it. It was a personal truck of mine. And then when I started my towing business, I added it to the fleet because it was a small little truck that you could get in a lot of tight places. We didn't use it a whole lot, but it was nice because it, it only had a 17-foot bed. And we used it for small cars, but it was nice because you could get it in some of these tight parking lots to load cars up. So we use it occasionally. And it got used through the winter. Well, one winter... I went to take the rubber mat out of it, I should say the end of one winter, to clean the truck. And the mat, somebody had spilled a coffee in it and it got, it was really messy. So we pulled the seat, pulled the mat, and when we got the mat out, the floors weren't rusty, but the truck was white in color, but a lot of the white paint, factory paint on the floor pans were starting to peel up because it got wet and stayed wet. So we sanded the floors and we put two coats of this on there. I ran that truck another five or six years in the business and I ended up selling the truck and we had pulled the mat and the seat back out of it to detail the truck and when we pulled the mat out the floor looked like we had just painted it yesterday and this truck was used commercially so there was guys in and out of it all day long all types of weather this stuff definitely kept the floors from getting rusty uh, I have used pour 15 in the past and I'm not very happy with it it does not have any UV protection so if you want to paint something to keep it from getting rusty, uh, let's just say you're doing a frame. You sandblasted this truck frame, pour 15 it, man, it looks great. You rolled out of your shop because now you're working on the body of the truck or something else came up, life gets in the way, frame's outside. Guess what? Six months from now, you're going to repaint that frame because it will get chalky. And it just, it 
pretty much just washes away to the weather. It does not hold up. This, however, does have UV protection in it. This stuff will hold up. So if you give this two coats, three coats, whatever you feel, usually two coats is enough with this product. You give her two coats and you leave her lay outside or whatever you do, it's fine. I'm going to take you over here and show you a set of uh, twin traction beams will come out of the front of this 96 truck. They were sandblasted, two coats of this over a year ago. Now, to be fair, they've only been at, they were laying, I just moved into this building. This is my new home. Uh, so to be fair, they've only been, they were laying in the bed of a pickup truck outside here at the shop for the last two months. They have been inside the shop, but they were painted at, um, I mean, they've been painted over a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. But they go to this, if you follow the channel, you've seen me talk about this truck before. This truck has been in shambles for quite some time. So the front traction beams that go to this truck are right there. And like I said, to be fair, they've only been outside a little bit of time. But these are, these are painted with the silver paint. These were sandblasted and then painted. And if you look in here close enough, you can see that it's got some pitting. It's got some deep pits, um, but they're not rusty. They've been laying outside. Um, they are going to get top coated. I'm going to top coat them with just some kind of enamel, just automotive paint. The main reason I really sandblasted and cleaned them up was because they were just, they were so rusty and dirty. Um, and I'm doing a lot of other trick stuff to the front end of this truck that I wanted them all cleaned up painted. But this silver paint, it, it, it's worth the money. It's worth the, uh, it's about $58 a can, $56 a can. You can get it on Amazon. It's available on Amazon. And the, uh, like I said, they, they make a uh, three different levels of it. The slurry is their thick stuff. You can use it inside of a gas tank. Um, I can tell you right now, if you get this stuff in your hands, it's got to wear off. Use rubber gloves when you're using this stuff. If you take some out of the can, like if you pour it into a little can to, to use a little can to hold it, do not put the unused portion back in here. Use it up. Do not get any silver on this lid or you will not get this lid back off. You'll destroy the can getting it off. So the new product is the silver, just a little thinner version of it. And I'm not quite sure there's some kind of silicon beads or something that are in here. You mix these two together and it's going to make a sound detonator and you're going to have the protection of the silver paint. But we are going to give her a try on the, uh, hate that term rat ride, but you guys that follow my channel know the, the tow truck that I'm talking about. Um, we're going to try to get that truck in here in the next couple weeks. I mean, I'm still working on the building, as you can see. I don't have any, I'm insulating the walls and putting plywood up on the walls so I can paint the building and I'm still working on that. I did get some of the ceiling hung on the other side over here. Um, it's just a slow process. So hopefully I'll get that wrecker in here and um, we're going to try out this paint. We're going to go ahead and roll, like he said, just roll it on the floor. We're going to roll the whole floor to cab, uh, let it dry, because that truck is going to get carpet. Um, I am going to do some sound deadening in the doors, the roof, and the back of the cab. So if there's enough of this product, we're going to roll the roof, the back of the cab, I don't know if I'll get to the insides of the doors. We're going to put as much of this product on, and we're going to give it a try. Uh, it's also supposed to um, help uh, radiate some heat off of the floors, which would be nice because, you know, these older vehicles, these old gas engines, they get hot. And these old cars didn't have much insulation in them. So if it helps radiate some of that off there, that'd be awesome. So, look, how's your boy? Keep it reals. Catch me on the next one.